So Kendall, these look the same. What is the difference? What's going on here? The difference, Deb, is in the core material. Yeah. HDF with very high swell resistance is expensive to produce. And so cheap laminate floors tend to swell more aggressively than quick step. So it's all in the core board. The product is primarily made of HDF. And it's the cost and swell resistance of that HDF that makes the difference in a laminate floor. Okay, so can you show me that? Sure. What's going on in the pot? Well, in the pot we've got two samples. Yep. One is quick step. We pull that out there and you can see it's swollen very, very yeah. slightly. And that's because of the superior core board in terms of swell resistance. The competition... Oh gosh, that's amazing. It is amazing. It's, even, it's like paper. <laughs> it's like a telephone book. But what else you should know is that this complies with the European norm. So even a product like that complies with the manufacturing norms, but the difference in swell resistance is really quite incredible. And that makes a difference in a real home when it comes to spillage, when it comes to stain resistance, when it comes to swelling of the joints, Quick Step performs much better than the competition. A lot of people have heard of laminate flooring, but what is laminate flooring? The primary ingredient in laminate flooring is melamine, a super hard thermoplastic, tough, durable, color fast, stain resistance, and really low maintenance. But when people think about laminate flooring, they normally think about short, stumpy panels. When Quickstep talks laminate flooring, we talk long, wide, realistic panels. So Kendall, I wouldn't pick a laminate because I'd be worried about the noise. You know mm. when you go into somebody's home Absolutely. and they've got a laminate, you can hear it, it's kind of echoey. Absolutely, look, I hate that as much as anyone. It's a key point of resistance for buyers of not only wood flooring, but often laminate flooring, that hollow drummy sound when you walk on it. But we've proven that if you prepare the subfloor properly and you use our quiet step underlay, you it can- It doesn't even look very thin. No, it doesn't. Um, but we've proven you can dramatically reduce that footfall noise. That's a popular rubber underlay that's frequently used. It's much more expensive. It's thick and impressive looking. But in the real world, when these products are compared, you'll be able to see the difference between the rubber underlay and the quiet step. The rubber represents a hollow, drummy, tappy sound that everyone hates. The quiet step on a properly prepared subfloor will really provide a solid, quiet floor to walk on. That makes a difference, big difference. Uh, it's a massive difference and we've been able to show that when properly prepared with quiet step, the walk sound is similar to glued down systems. So you don't have to worry about excessive walk noise when the floor is prepared properly and use the quiet step underlay.